Johnny, Johnny Sauter, Sauter inside his three wide. Forced his way to the middle. Middle of three. Your middle of three. Come on, 13. You got a guy coming to you. Not over. Keep digging. They're crashing roads in the crash. Keep digging. Damn. Crafting up and over. And Cass Grala looks to me like will win this race. Huge crash at the end on the final lap. And Kaz Grala, the youngest driver in the field, the youngest driver to win a pole award in NASCAR's Touring Series history. We'll have to wait and see NASCAR, but he sure looked like he was the one that emerged with a lead. The first across the finish line under the checkers and the yellow flag. Austin Wayne's self trailed Grala across the start finish line. That team's confident about what they've accomplished. We'll get the official moment of caution from NASCAR. Yeah. Amazing job, regardless, for Jerry Baxter, Cass Grala, and that GMS team. Well, and Grala dropped back to the back part of the top five on that restart, but patiently stayed in line, was off the track down in turn three, was able to keep his truck headed straight. Good Great to, to see, see Matt, Matt Crafton yeah. out of the vehicle. Vince, you're right. Great to see him out. It's a heck of a ride for Matt. No surprise to me that exiting the corners when the trouble happened. It just was a very aggressive push. Yeah, it looked like Grant Enfing was trying to help. Ooh, look at Matt Crafton up and over. There's Johnny Sauter up in the middle of the mess. Grant Enfinger was pushing right there when the track flattens out. Yeah. Around goes the 27, catches Crafton, who thought he was home free. Exactly in that spot where you said you didn't want to be pushed, where the track changes a little bit of that elevation. It's nearly impossible to do it cleanly, and this is just way too much right here. Enfinger would have been much better off just to, to tap his partner, tap his buddy past Crafton, but he got too aggressive. It's the last lap, you understand that. But look at the impact by Timothy Peters. And look at Grala just sneaking through that hole. Right through the middle. And how about Austin Wayne self right behind him, Chase Briscoe as well, as Crafton goes up and over. Wow. 30 some hundred pounds of race vehicle just floating around like a feather. That tells you how fast these guys are going and how crazy things get at the end. He's still not on the ground. Watch it all from the 24 of Scott Legacy. How crazy was that wow. view of Crafton over there? We gotta see that again. Now look, he comes out. Works back all the way back. Still three with help. Still three with help. Ooh. Wreck it. Hang on to Timothy it Timothy never even had time to back off, guys. Now for three Christopher mid, three Bell. Mid, three mid. Three mid. Easy, come middle, 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 middle. Keep coming middle. Keep oh. coming middle. That looks straight out of the movies. Yeah, I mean, I couldn't believe that truck could fly over like that. Just amazing pictures. Awesome camera work, guys. This is beautiful. I mean, it's terrible, yeah. but it's Scott Legacy. Watch Matt Crafton that. over there. Completely up in the air. Unbelievable. So thankful that everybody's okay. We saw Crafton in that truck yellow 88 walk away from this mess look at it land on the 21 of johnny sauter scott legacy there's myatt snyder the 51. you see legacy he's one of the first trucks to clear so he's going to get a a decent finish out of this